Welcome back to yet another unboxing video, and today is the original edition of Project Elite by Artipia Games. Earth in the future, a massive alien invasion has brought mankind to its knees. We were not ready for this. Around the world, people are still trying to defend what little remains. Our enemy is superior. A special task force of highly trained operatives has been assembled in an attempt to stop the alien advance, protect high priority targets, and whenever possible, strike back. They are called Project Elite. Project Elite is a fast-paced, real-time cooperative board game in which players control characters and try to work together against hordes of attacking aliens. This is an extremely heavy box. When I open it, you'll see why. Again, it has 80 miniatures, one double-sided game board, 196 cards, 34 dice, 120 tokens, one rule book. Miniatures are supplied and painted as usual. It's for one to four players, 30 minutes. It is 14 plus. Now, Simon Games did a reboot of this game a while back, but this one came, it was made in Greece and it started, it came out in 2015. Again, this is the original edition of Project Elite. So, this thing is massively heavy. I got this used for a good price and I couldn't turn it down, so I grabbed it. Let's crack this bad boy open and see what's inside the box. Now, the map on this thing is immense. So we'll have to come back to that. So our rule book, Project Elite, Earth in the Future, Mass Failure Invasion. We read, read that back. Components, all the things that you gotta look for. Game setup. So the game setup, uh, again, I've played this several times with my kids. And the game setup, it, it, at first, when you're not used to the game, uh, it's a little tricky to set up a game board. And figure out what all this stuff means um, but once you start playing it's it's a it's a fantastic game um, nerve-wracking to say the least uh, you're rolling tons and tons of dice rolling which kids love to do with your action dice and your hit dice but at the same time uh, it gets it gets a little frustrating also lots of cards you got to prepare the desk uh, the decks sorry choose a setup card find your round markers prepare the timer Get your dice, place the spawning area tokens, get weapons and items. Game board feature has search slots, objective slots, game setup areas, spawning areas. And starting area, where you start. The round overview, vent phase, alien spawning, action phase, alien ability phase, alien movement phase. End of the round, you got the event phase, alien spawning phase, action phase, alien ability phase. Alien movement, end of round, winning, losing the game. Dice and action slots. Move, fix, search, shoot. Use, alien move. Randomizer. Action slots. Regular action, one use action. Casualty action slots. Search slots. Okay, your characters. Lilia, inventory movement. Losing life, getting killed. It's great artwork. Unfortunately, for this edition of the game, uh, the artwork is great. The figures are not. Weapon items. Explanation about what's, how to read the cards. Weapon item activation. Weapon constraints. And you got your alien cards. Explains how to read them. Got the move now indicator. How to spawn aliens and their bosses. Aliens with more than one life, spawning and killing bosses, alien movement. Again, artwork, very, very cool. Figures, not so much. You'll see. Objectives, extermination objective, recovery objectives. Ooh, 
recon objective, objective and setup, demotion objective, objective and setup, game setup area, setup cards, choosing a setup card. Okay, you can do it by difficulty, by objective, by map, by difficulty, random map, objective, random map, totally random. Make your own setups, line of sight. It shows a different example of what line of sight is. Okay. And the different kind of tokens we have. We've got spawning, objective, acid, slime, alien tech, and of course your event cards. Maps and terrain. And there's a small version of the two maps you can have either. You can either play the abandoned lab or the alien crash site. You choose which one you want to play, obviously, and it depends upon the scenario that you're playing. Walls you can't go through, trees you can't shoot through. Okay. Interaction and decisions, working together, what's done is done, strategy tips. This is 100%, or I should say 1000% cooperative. If you try to do this by yourself, you're going to get wrecked every single time. Okay. And different kinds of cards. Okay. Main characters and the different type of weapons that you got there. And the explanation behind all of them. So it's, it's a rather simple set of rules, which I gotta say, I, I like very, very much so about it. Okay, only 19 pages of rules. If you wanna play a solo game, how to do it, and the credits for everything here, art of games, there is. Again, the artwork is beautiful on these. But, again, 2014, 2015, it came out. There's your rule book. But before I put the rule book down, as I normally do, I'm gonna put down this, this I gotta make room here. I'm gonna take the game board out. The game board is pretty massive, so I'll show you this. That's part of the crash site there. It's very well done. Okay. Spawning points. Okay. So as you can tell, it's a very, very big board. So this. table for a second because we need to make some room here so there's your map okay eight rounds to complete your mission okay and within those eight rounds in here you put your tokens as to what type of uh creature is going to pop out where the bosses are and that's based on your scenario cards that you have here again the great thing about this game here is that you don't have to figure out the alien movement because you have to follow what it says here with these arrows the arrows indicate which direction they can move in they're always moving forward, they're never moving backwards. Okay, spawning points again, stuff that you gotta reach to get to. All right, and you start back here. You start back here behind this line here, and the idea is that the creatures are coming out over here and they're gonna travel all the way back here. And if they get here without you stopping them, you lose the game, pretty much, that's it. And this here, this map here is the abandoned lab. Okay, and if I flip it over, Without knocking everything over or breaking the map and not knocking the camera we have the alien crash site which is here okay again same thing down here your eight rounds you put your tokens in here tells you what you got to do okay, your starting points all right and if you look at it there are arrows here pull it up a little quicker the arrows show the directions i think aliens can move in There you have it. And here in this game, you start here. Okay. And you're trying to get up to the green circles there. And up there. Or if we're up, and up here. Where you gotta get to. So you gotta do a lot of moving and shooting. And sometimes the dice gods do not go with you. And again, this is the alien crash site. Okay, so we'll leave it there. So you saw the two sides of the map. Okay that there of course we had the rule book all right we got some decks of cards here are your boss cards there's 
some more of your boss cards. You didn't talk to aliens. In the artwork, it's very vibrant, very colorful. And there's all your different levels of bad guys. Okay. Bosses. There's your boss cards. Then you got your event deck. Well, different things. I got delayed extraction. Out of time, they never end. They are fast, large numbers. Can't find it. Shaking ground gets worse. The big one here they come. They are biting during the alien ability phase. All non boss aliens hit each character within range one on a roll of five plus. You know, fast attack, highly toxic generation, overwhelmed. The mind stops, heavily wounded, exhaustion, incoming fire, endless terror. They are everywhere, so scared. They are advancing, I can't see. So that's your event cards. You have some alien tech cards here. And these are just obviously different kinds of weapons. Sonic Blaster, Nightmare, Alien what? DNA, Devourer, Porous Shells, Stress Beacon, Scorpion, Destroyer, Carpus Armor, Fear, Crusher, Desolator, Ravager, Phantasm, and a Recharger. Each of them has their instructions on the bottom. So what you're doing, you're rolling dice, and if you get two hands, you can use the stuff that's in the card. But you need to get these two hands to activate this. It does not wound. Target retreats two spaces, follows hours in reverse. Two, one, four. Okay. Let's see what cards we got in here. We've got lots of cards. These are your alien cards. More alien cards. So here are your alien cards. It tells you all the types of aliens you got there. You got your runners. You got your fighters. You got your shooters. And they do exactly what they said. So runners move faster than the other ones do. Shooters shoot. Fighters fight. You get it. There's a shooter. Spawn a boss. Discard this card and spawn an alien boss in its place. It still counts towards the number of alien cards spawned this round. There's a picture of your runner. Fighter, there you go. So those are your three main types. Fighter, shooter, and runner. The card determines what comes out. Okay. You got your player aid cards here. You got four of those. Not overused. Okay, player aid. Easy, medium, and hard levels. I played on easy level, and I'll tell you something. I, I felt like the stress level going through my mind. I was just like, wow, how much harder can this game get? Um, I could assume if you're playing with a bunch of people. Again, I was just playing with my one daughter, my one daughter and... Um, uh, it was a blast, but at the same time, I was like, if there was a, like five or six people playing this game, this game could get out of hand real quick because these uh, creatures, they never stop coming and they get on you very, very quickly. So you got to really think in this game. So again, one of the things that you're going to, how it's going to help you survive are your weapon cards. Again, all kinds of weapons. They got in there, multi launcher, rupture gun, 2.8 gun, shredders, iron rifles. You get the general just again. You have to roll these dice for the weapon to work. You put the dice in there, and every time you roll these dice, uh, you only get a certain amount of dice, and, you know, roll up three hits. If the roll total is eight or less, all hits are successful. All kinds of weapons you can get. So there's your weapon cards. And here we have another set of cards, which is your item cards. Things that you can find during your adventure. 
All right, some items that you can have. Holster, extra ammo, tech skeleton, extra visor, shock projector, launch pack, shot stabilizer, medipack, medipack, all kinds of stuff to aid you on your way, obviously. Okay. You also have your character cards and your setup cards. And there's your character. So let's take a look at your characters. There you go. You can be caress, momentum, bus, Sarah Mercy, Lilia, or Rob Cart. Each one have their own special abilities. There they are. Keep moving this over here things gonna fall right off the, the side of the table then you got your setup cards right here got a whole bunch of them again this tells you what level you're playing on so if you want to do recon lab you want to do it on easy mode medium mode hard and there's your easy again each one's for it again alien crash site versus the abandoned lab which you know the two sides of the boards whichever one you want to do but there's an easy and the difference is if you look up here real quick so doing recon mission one all right there's some objectives but more importantly you got one two three you got the eight rounds there's only two bosses that come out versus recon on your blow your mind hard level you got all kinds of bosses popping out all the time okay that tells you right there Okay. Mission one, mission two, mission three, mission four. So you got lots of them here. All right. So that's how you read those set of cards. And then of course you got your tokens right here. They're all different. Okay, you need four dice to pick that up. And on that side, again, you don't know what it is. So again. They're on this side here. So then you flip it over, boop, and it tells you what you need to pick it up. So you need four hands to pick that one up. You need three hands to pick up that one. Four. So it all depends upon, again, it's very randomized. So those are your tokens there. Okay, put, your to put your tokens over here. All right. I'll give you one timer. Each, each person has two minutes to roll dice and to get as many hits as they possibly can. That's the timer that came in the game. This box did not come with it, but I, I've got one. Uh, and since so I've got more of the little tokens that we have here, so wound tokens you need plenty of those in the game i'm going to tell you right now you got wound tokens targeting acid okay wound tokens again got all kinds of tokens in here this one here i'm not sure what this one was this is a slime token that tells you right there slime back is this and the front is that okay and more blood, blood tokens here. Your spawning, oh, spawning token. Looks like that. Okay. B. That's for that's for the game board. That means boss. All right. So you get a whole bunch of these tokens here in the E. Again, that goes. On this part of the board over here, slide or that would go here. It'll tell you where, where, where it goes. Like in other words, round seven, the boss shows up here. All right, that's how that those are markers, tokens for to mark, to mark your starting points. All right, so that pretty much shows you all the. Oh, got one that says Alien Tech on it. Yeah, got a bunch of those too. Targeting. Okay. 
ones that look like this too. She has a special power. I forget exactly what it was, but she has a special ability where this, this comes in play. I forget what it was, but there it is. Again, lots and lots of these little tokens. We got a whole bunch of them. Okay, so I'll throw those up here too. So we got lots and lots of these tokens. Put them over to the side here so I don't lose them. Put them back in the little box that I got for them. The box is not included in the base game. I just have that to keep the uh, make sure the tokens all get kept, you know, in place. Now, when you talk about figures in a box, you get one, two, three. Four, five, six boxes. Okay, six boxes. We'll put that up here again, and we get a whole whole bunch of dice that we're talking about. Okay, the green ones are your regular D sixes. Regular D six. mess of those again for dealing damage for different things of that nature okay and these are the dice that you use that you put up on your so these are the d20 Regular D20, these are regular D6s, and these are your specialty dice that you have to come in the game and get your hand. You got the weapon, you got the movement, you got the search icons and fix. So when you pull a weapon card, I'll use that as an example. So for to activate this, you would need to get when you would roll your dice, you're and you're in two minutes you're just rolling, rolling, rolling dice. So when you get your gun, oh sorry. Oh, sorry again. Oh, there it is, a gun. So, boom, you would put it on here like that, and then you roll another dice. And when you get two guns, all right, put them on here like that, and now it activates the exo shotgun. And then you could use the also type of damage that it mentions here. Okay, that's how those work. And you get this is a D2 or D3 right there. It's a D3 that they put in the game, too. You get blocked these dice, as I was saying. Lots of those figures. And next to me, dice. You get lots and lots of dice. So here they are. There's all the dice. Oh, and one extra green one. Throw that over there. Throw that over there. So those are their dice that you use. As for your figures, some of you saw me pull this card out. This was a. Um, Sandman's an additional character that was a when this original Kickstarter came out. This was the extra card for that guy there, so I could show it to you. If you didn't back the Kickstarter, you won't get this card. You won't get this character. So, and so this was from many many years, many many moons ago, as they say, and gives you the rules for him as well. There's your character. And your, that's your ex bonus character, Sandman, and the rule for Sandman. Okay, that goes over here. The red ones are your bosses. And you got lots of bosses. Again, terrible quality. Almost no detail on them. They're just kind of massive plastic. You can tell because the arms are different. That's how you know which character is which. But the, the, the characters are by themselves are not very good quality. Okay, they're not good quality at all. But I'm going to come back there. And you got a bunch of them. Okay. Put them back there like that. But as you can tell, they're just blobs. Not a lot of definition to them. Um, not good quality whatsoever. Again, Simon comes in, takes the game, amps up their figures, and now you got something that you could really look at that's absolutely gorgeous. And I'll be doing an unboxing for that one as well. And I might pull a couple of these out just to show you the, the advancement of the figures. But there you go, there's another one. These are these are all the bosses. 
again the bosses. And the bosses again. Your bag of heroes. Again, that's that Kickstarter exclusive. I'll throw him up top here. And these are the characters you could be. The detail on these guys aren't that bad, but again, they're not that bad. There's him. Very chunky and again, not the best looking characters. Ugliest creatures of them all. And as I'm continuing to go on, different characters that you have here. Again, more characters. More characters as we continue on. More characters, slime pits, more stuff, more stuff, more and more stuff. And finally, got a bag of them, but I'm not going to show you all of them because they're all the same pretty much. And there you got your runners. That's what a runner figure looks like. You got a bag full of them. You got your shooters. Again, really, really not the best details. There they are. You got a bag full of them. And last but not least. You got your biters, and there's your biters. And you got a bag full of them. So that's everything that's included in the Kickstarter version of the original box set of Project Elite. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. Be safe, be well. I'll catch you on the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day.